Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you how to deposit and how to withdraw crypto on the Qcoin exchange. So without further ado, all the important timestamps will be down in the description and with that being said, let's hop right into the video. I will now show you how to deposit on Qcoin. The first thing you'll have to do is to go over to Qcoin.com and make sure you're logged in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to the top right and then you want to go over to assets and click on the main account. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And on this page, the first thing you'll have to do is to go over to the search bar and search for the coin you would like to deposit. Now in my case this will be Cardano and the ticker symbol of Cardano is ADA. And once you find the coin you would like to deposit, you can go over to the operation section and click on the deposit button. Or you can also go over to the deposit button in the top right, click on it and then search for the coin right here. In this case that's again Cardano. You'll then have to select the account you want to deposit to. For me, that will be the main account, but you can also select your trading account. Once you have selected the coin you would like to deposit, as well as the account you would like to deposit to, you'll see your address right here. And you need to copy your address. You can do this by clicking on the two papers right here, and as you guys can see, my address has been copied. Once you have copied your address, you'll now need to go over to the exchange you would like to withdraw from. For me, this will be Binance. But if you're not sure how to withdraw from your cryptocurrency exchange, I recommend you go over to my channel, go over to the search bar, and you can then search for the exchange you would like to withdraw from. And once you've filled in that exchange, you'll also have to fill in Qcoin, you can then press enter, and then a tutorial explaining you how to transfer from your exchange to Qcoin will pop up. If you do know how to withdraw from your exchange, I will now show you what you need to do. So since I want to transfer from Binance to Qcoin, I'll go over to Binance and log in. Now that I'm logged in, I'll go over to Wallet and click on Finance Spot. You'll then be sent over to the Finance Spot page of Binance. And over on this page, you want to go over to the Withdrawal button in the top right. You'll then be sent over to the Withdrawal Crypto page of Binance. And here, you'll have to select a coin you would like to withdraw. In this case, that's going to be Cardano. The next thing you need to do is to fill in the address you would like to withdraw to. That's the address I just copied. So I'll go ahead, paste in my address. And as you guys can see, my wallet address has been matched to the corresponding network. But if it's not, you need to click on the network selector and choose between available networks. If you're not sure which network to choose, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer and then the name of the currency you want to transfer. The next thing you need to do is to fill in an amount you would like to withdraw. As you guys can see, I don't hold any Cardano as of right now, but what you need to do is to click on the withdrawal button and you will then need to go through the security verification process. So all you need to do is to fill in your two-factor authentication codes, send to your phone and maybe to your email. I will now show you how to withdraw from Qcoin. So the first thing you will need to do is to go over to assets in the top right and click on main account. You will then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one. And the first thing you will need to do is to search for the coin you would like to withdraw. In this example, I'll use Cardano, even though I don't hold any. And the next thing you need to do you should go over to the operation section and click on the withdrawal button. You can also go over to the withdrawal tab right here, select the coin you would like to withdraw, in this case that's Cardano, and you'll then see a menu looking similar to this one. Now the first thing you'll need to do is to fill in the address you would like to transfer to. For this example, I'll be using Binance. If you're not sure how to find this address on the exchange you're using, I recommend you go over to my channel, go over to the search bar, and search for the exchange you would like to deposit onto, and then type Qcoin. You can then press enter, and then a tutorial explaining you how to transfer from Qcoin to your exchange will pop up. But since I'm using Binance, I'll go over to Binance, go over to Wallet, click on Finance Spot, and you'll then be sent over to the Finance Spot page of Binance. Here, you'll be able to see the deposit button, and you'll need to click on it. You'll then be sent over to a page looking similar to this one, and the next thing you need to do is to select the coin you would like to deposit. You can do this by clicking on the coin selector and then searching for the coin you would like to deposit. In this case, that's going to be Cardano. The next thing you need to do is to select the network you want to use for your transfer. In this case, I recommend you go with Cardano, but if you're not sure which network to use, I recommend you do a quick Google search. You could Google something like which network to use to transfer and then the name of the cryptocurrency you're trying to transfer. In most cases, it's the safest bet to just choose the network of the coin you're transferring. In this case, that's the Cardano network. And the next thing you need to do is to copy your address. 
To do so, all you need to do is to click on the click to copy button right here. And as you guys can see, my address has been copied. So the next thing you'll need to do is to go over to Qcoin and paste in your wallet address. You'll then have to select the network, in this case that's the Cardano network. And once you've filled in the wallet address, as well as the network, the next thing you need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you would like to withdraw. As I said, I don't hold any Cardano as of right now, but for the example, I'll fill in 100 Cardano. You can also click on the max button to select all of your available holdings. And once you've filled in the amount you would like to transfer, the last and final thing you need to do is to click on the confirm button. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.